Awesome. Welcome back. This is going to be section one, lecture two. Uh, this is Mark Zane. Uh, the course you're watching right now is how to make a living playing daily fantasy sports. And this section is just going to be honestly an overview uh, covering the basics, very, very basics of daily fantasy sports and really getting you up to speed with all of the stuff that's going on with daily fantasy sports. So to start is, what is daily fantasy sports? What is this new phenomenon that's taking over our televisions, our computers, and the lives of many people? Well, people draft real world athletes to their team who then score fantasy points for them based on a set of predetermined scoring rules. And this can change based on the sport. The athletes change, the number of points that they can score change, the scoring changes, all of these factors change based on maybe the site, the sport, the league, all of these different elements affect how many points and how the scoring is determined. Instead of having the same team for the entire season like most people do when they do a fantasy league with their friends or family members, these games typically last a day if you're playing baseball or basketball or up to a week to a weekend at the most if you're doing a football league. So these are much quicker, quicker leagues. You're basically trying to figure out who's going to score the most points for you in a week so it's not as traumatizing as a fantasy league where, let's say last year you drafted Adrian Peterson with the first pick, only to see him not play the rest of the year, where you're traumatized for a whole year and you got to wait till the next year to draft again. With these, league, these leagues, if Adrian Peterson is hurt or he's gone for the rest of the season and you drafted him in, during one week, you're only going to suffer for one week. After that, it's a brand new slate and a brand new board for you to draft off of. So next, I'm going to cover some of the important facts about daily fantasy sports. So this is a relatively new concept that has just taken the world by storm. So a lot of the big players, such as uh, FanDuel, DraftKings, they've raised a lot of money from investors and other, other venture groups and stuff like that. They've developed partnerships with companies like ESPN, Disney, all these insane growth hacks that they have basically been able to put into action that has really blown this concept up. And what it basically does is it really fuels, it's almost like a mix between fantasy leagues and gambling and sports betting, which are two huge markets on their own. And daily fantasy sports has found a way to combine the two almost, almost perfectly. So prizes and payouts are real on most platforms. I can personally verify and vouch certain platforms such as DraftKings and FanDuel's up until this date because I know millions of people have played on these platform. I know thousands of others who have played on this platform personally and vouched for it and verified and guaranteed to me. And I myself have played on these platforms. But there are tons and tons of more platforms opening up each day. And if one of these other platforms do seem lucrative to you, be sure to check that it is legitimate and do a small deposit before playing on one. Most platforms are legitimate and they will pay you out. There might be others that might be scamming or might be out of the country or might have something uh, not so legal going on and you definitely want to be careful about that. So don't forget about that. Now, if you're wondering about the legalities of this, as of now, um, I definitely know that this is legal to do in most states. Some of the states that do have some laws against this that you might want to read up on if you are in those states are Montana, Louisiana, Arizona, Washington, and Iowa. Um, since this is relatively new, uh, the laws and the federal government and stuff, I'm sure they're definitely taking a look at it, but they haven't really made a decision or a judgment on it yet. So you always want to kind of keep your ears and eyes open and read updates and emails that you get from these platforms. But as of now, this is 100% legal to do and you are 100% safe doing this. Daily fantasy sports is in no way trying to compete with season long fantasy leagues. A lot of people, when this, when these programs and these platforms started coming out, were like, oh, this is blasphemy. People are trying to completely re replace fantasy long seasons. That's where it takes skill and all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. No. In fact, DraftKings and some of these sites have came out and said, we just want to complement your season long fantasy leagues. So not only can you play your season long fantasy leagues, but you can also play these daily fantasy sports leagues. So definitely don't get caught in that misconception. So with the next slide, here's some stats about daily fantasy sports. And these are simply mind-blowing. If you take a look at these, um, you will, you, 
I'm just going to let you guys take a look at this slide and just see how massive sites like FanDuel's, DraftKings, and stuff are getting. And these, these statistics were taken months ago, so you can only imagine how much these statistics have grown. So while you guys kind of read through that, uh, the next couple slides are just going to be some examples of what the platforms look like. If you've never if you've never signed up, never used these sites, I'll kind of give you guys an inside look. Uh, you can do a lot of this stuff simply from your mobile phone, which is awesome. Uh, you don't even need a computer or any crazy technology. Just simply download the apps, deposit your money, and you're good to go, and you can be doing this on the go. Uh, so here's an example of daily sports fantasy sports platform so you can kind of see this on the left is a head-to-head -head daily fantasy league and we're going to definitely jump into that i'll explain all that stuff to you guys and then on the right is kind of like the mobile view of what it looks like from your mobile phone and player by player statistics and it's you literally get everything on one platform and then finally this is another example of a couple other sites how it works on the left you have different contests that are available to join and they kind of show you the name of them amount of entries, prize money, how much is the entry fee, and all that good stuff. And then on the right is uh, someone's lineup that they drafted actually um, using one of these platforms and you can see how it's kind of laid out. So these are just a few examples of how all this stuff works. And then now in the next presentation, we're gonna jump into more details and kind of getting you more educated with uh, daily fantasy sports and how you can really start making a living doing this stuff.